Hey guys, welcome back to Yo-Kai Watch 3, and in this video, we're gonna be starting on Inaho's side of the story back in Springdale with Usopp, Jan, and Gump. So, we can't really progress anymore with Nate, so now we're gonna make some progress with Inaho, and I'm not sure if we've shown off everything with Inaho yet, or I just happen to be here already, but just like with Nate, we can go back into her room, and, and this is not our room, <laughs> and talk to Usopp Yon to uh, change our companion, but I'm gonna use Usopp Yon just for a little bit. We could switch to Gump, but for right now, and speaking of Gump, actually, I think it'd be a bit beneficial if I change around my current formation, since both Gump and Usopp Yon are the Shady Tribe. If I put them together, they should technically get a Unity bonus going. So, now that I've done so, we're about to get into some fights. Because, yeah, Inho is a little bit on the antagonistic side. Not really, but <laughs> for whatever reason, she does a lot more battling than Nate did during his story. And I'm okay with that. And oh, here we go! Man, I love Breezy Hills, dude. And yes, Inho gets to go back to Springdale. I love that so much, and hmm, what should I do today? I spent all my allowance yesterday. Wait, no I didn't. Well, I guess I can spend it today then. Yay, more lucrative shopping. Good idea, you know, buying things you don't need is great. Uh, okay, and uh, we are off on our story that I'm making up as I go along. So we need to now go to downtown Springdale. But before I do that, I want to see if the yokai that we can encounter here are similar or not, and let's see what the first yokai we're going to encounter is. Ooh, that, I think that's a new one. All right, let's battle this new yokai. So this guy is uh, not from Yokai Watch 1. I don't think it's from 2 either, and I'm kind of curious to see how much damage that would do to me, but I also, at the same time, don't want to get hit by it. And if I had to say, this guy looks a little hurtful. Oh my gosh, he's like terrified. What was going on here? It's like on a diving board, but it's a teapot. Um, little teapot, your ass spout. He was my battle cry. Anyways, so let's kick some butt. So they are, um, I can't recall right now. Oh, they have sturdy, it looks like. Maybe they're part of the tough tribe, but uh, I do not recall what element is actually weak to electricity. I guess they'd have to be water, right? They'd have to be a water attribute, but they're still a rank E, so they're not really too great in crud. I didn't finish that one off. All right. Yeah, they're definitely water. So that's uh, different. And oh man, they actually tank a lot of damage. This yokai could be a little bit helpful if we could recruit it, but uh, yeah, I don't really plan to. If we get it, that's cool and all, but I, I guess we shall see. Honestly, I know the yokai that I'm after, and this may be. Eh, I'll, I'll save that for when the time is relevant, and we got one! Oh my gosh, we got a new yokai, and hello there, Miss Teapot. How are you doing? Hopefully you're okay. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable, man. Yeah, let's sync name it. Bandikusu. Bandikusu. Alright, what, what are we gonna... I got it. I got this one. I pity the fool that don't get this reference! Alright, so, Mrs. T will join our party, and let's see what type of yokai she is. I honestly have no idea. And Mrs. T, I'm probably using the wrong Mrs., and I'm not too sure of its tribe. It could be literally anything. I'd really, I'd really need a heartful yokai, actually, to heal me up. And it looks like a slippery tribe? Okay, uh, that's a little bit different, but hey, having two yokai ain't that great. We need three. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to... Probably be using a lot of Cranky Cry exclusive yokai for my first playthrough because, well, I don't really know what I'm getting into. I'm still going in this relatively blind, but I guess we're heading downtown through the fish tunnel, which uh, is in yokai one. You may never actually use it since it's not really required to beat the game, but if you forgot what downtown Springdale looked like, well, here it is again. I'm, I'm becoming Whisper apparently, even though we're on Inaho's campaign. And man, did I use the right miss? I don't remember, but uh, hey, it's that girl and oh, it's my friend from school. I don't know what she's doing today. Well, let's go find out, I guess. And I believe the localized version of this girl's name is Jessica, but her Japanese name is Yuka. So I'll be calling her that since one of my friends was named that back in high school. And uh, Inaho, how did she know you? She's from my elementary school. We in the same class. And sometimes she cheats on my homework, but I don't tell anyone because I don't have a lot of friends. Anyways, hey, Yuka, how you doing? 
you guys don't really seem like friends, but okay, whatever, I don't suck enough. Oh, hi, Inaho, how are you doing this uh, t t Sunday? I don't know when Japanese kids get out of school. You want to do something today? Uh, I was just planning to go nerd around and just buy anime crud, but yeah, we can hang out. Where do you want to go? Hmm, I don't really have anywhere too important to go. Oh, what on earth is this? Okay, everyone, follow me. We're going back to the home. Is everyone ready? Uh, please say yes. Please. Uh, can I go to the bathroom first? Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom too, please. I gotta go as well. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, we're not getting through there. Ugh. That may take him a while. Uh, I have an idea. Why don't you go through the secret tunnel? It's real easy. You can take us to all the stores and stuff. <gasps> I forgot about the. Oh, you're so smart, Yuka. Yeah, I know. <laughs> all right, let's go through the secret tunnel. Woo! Oh my! <laughs> you know? Oh my gosh, she is the worst ever. Uh, I, I did that on purpose to make you laugh. If you say so. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, could it be better? Okay, let's go. Whee! Secret tunnel! Okay, goodbye. Now, I guess she's not coming with us or something. Um. Wait, I think I forgot some. Inaho! That place is full of yokai! Wait, you can't see yokai, Jessica, so what are you even talking about? Anyways, this is our next dungeon, and. Yeah, Inaho kind of gets into a lot of fights because to get to our next destination, which is actually the hospital, we gotta go through some new yokai. And hopefully we can recruit some of these. So we got uh, one of the dancing trio whose name escapes me. Gonna target him first because I don't want any positive buffs going off in this battle. We got a guy with a question mark and what appears to be a sesame seed. Going for you next. And oh man, having three versus three yokai is actually pretty stinking awesome. And oh my gosh. That yokai looks like it's a part of the tough tribe, but it's actually pretty frail when Usopp Yon gets to it. And hopefully, oh, Mrs. T leveled up. Nice. Maybe she can get something. Ooh, we got a dancing star because we beat one of the dancing trio. Not bad. Not bad at all, but uh, we're still not done. Hmm. Not too sure if I want to get into another battle with that guy or not. No, we got some steak going nice. I'm just going to try and grab as many items as I can because really I want to recruit a lot of yokai. And so far we've been not doing so hot. But if you look on the bottom screen, you can tell that uh, Mrs. T is actually a Japanese yokai. Because that's the green border. To my knowledge, they actually did ditch away with like the gray borders for all of the yokai. And I'm actually going to move Usapi on back at top so we can heal up a little bit. To my knowledge, like, moving back still doesn't decrease your DPS. It just means, like, you're in a different position than you were before. Because apparently later on... Oh, my God! We got another... Are you kidding me? We're getting yokai like crazy, dude! I guess Inaho is quite the charmer. And Okay, crud. I need to think of a nickname for this guy, too. Huh. Um, you're not giving me a lot to go off, man. But, uh... Crud, what do we call him? Okay, I'm just going to call him... Okay, I know it's terrible, but I cannot think of anything better. Hello, wheel bro. Join my team, I guess. Oh, gosh. That was probably the worst nickname I could have chosen. But, uh, oh, he is a part of the Tough Tribe, so I guess correctly. And I have no earthly idea what he could ever do to assist my team. And, oh, my gosh, another battle. And that was the fastest thing I've ever experienced in Yokai. All right, we instantly won that battle, but uh, we got some gooey crud over here. But let's see what we can find in Heather. Got a bunch of bikes, and in between the how can I pick that item up? We got a book. So I think a lot of these items are randomly generated because I am playing a little bit ahead, and I know some people are like, John, why do you always do that? For good reason, guys, for good reason. But uh, yeah, here's the mall. We're not really too interested in this right now because we actually have a more important objective at the hospital. But uh, 
yeah, those items were a bit different when I last played through here, so that's kind of interesting or noteworthy, I suppose, but yeah, there's a apparently an underground mall that was built. That's kind of cool, although I'm really not a big fan of those, if I'm being totally honest. I don't know why, I've just been getting really nervous when I get inside of, like, a underground area. I guess it was because I grew up in Florida most of my life, and basically we have no basements, but anyway, it's got a mackerel. That's cool. Don't really care, though, because we're going to the hospital! Why? <laughs> but, uh, apparently Usapion wanted to come here, and thanks for taking me, Inaho. I really gotta check up on something. Me too! I need some new glasses! <sighs> this is not where you get glasses. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> and Alright, nope. Just hopping up on there. Let's see, let's see. What do we got? Hmm. Ah, I found it! Wait, what? What's wrong, Usapion? You find what you're looking for? Yeah, he's up on the second floor, first building, or room, whatever, 2-1, whatever, 201. Alrighty then, let's get to it, and get those glasses! That We're not here for whatever, fine, let's go. <laughs> I think I'm making Usopp Yon a little bit too snarky, but whatever, and uh, oh, there's another one of these invisible things, but uh... It's not really too important, since I don't really know the yokai that goes to it, but yeah, it's there if you're in, in case you're wondering, but... This is the room we're looking for, and... Wait, what the heck? It's... it's... it's him! Yeah, it is, and uh... What do you mean? Hmm. Listen, Doctor, you don't have much time left. You have to make a decision now. Fine. I'll get the Salisbury steak. I know the dinner menu is a tough decision, but I have to do something. We're out of those. You. A tough decision. Oh my gosh. Something's bad's happening to the doctor. He picked the steak when that's obviously the worst thing on the menu. What's wrong, Usapion? I don't think the doc's gonna make it. He's hungry now, and a steak is going to take way too long to cook. <sighs> what are we going to do, man? Gosh. I have an idea. Usapyam, let's build a rocket. What does that have to do with anything? I don't know, but let's do it anyways. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. If you couldn't, if you couldn't, if you couldn't guess by this episode, I'm making this crap up as we go, but that's the next objective. We gotta craft this rocket to save the doctor from his menu choices. And now we gotta go back to the museum in Sink and Springdale. It takes way too long to get there because we can't travel to Uptown Springdale, so I'm gonna meet you guys when I get there, okay? Okay. So back where we literally just were, now we're instructed to go to the Museum of Breezy Hills. And I might have called this downtown spring, I don't think remembering. What are we doing here, Inaho? Uh, I don't know, and oh my gosh, is that Inaho? Uh, hello there, uh, I don't really know her name. I think it's like Kalia or something like that, but I'll just call her Camilla, cause why the heck not? And I didn't know you guys like the museum. Hello, Inaho. And no, we don't like the museum. We're just here for the free snacks. Okay, and I know this girl's named June, and what, you, what are you doing here? I bet you're here for that geeky museum exhibit, huh? Because I'm a bully, and girls, back off. Inaho is my general acquaintance, and I will not have you harass her. Yeah, okay, and I guess her... Oh man, I think her name is Machan. I'm just going by the anime at this point, and uh, okay, goodbye. I, I imagine they're like the popular girls at school, but Inaho is too oblivious to know what that is, and she probably thinks they're a friend, and the three of those people are my bestest friends ever. <sighs> Somehow, I don't think that's true, but okay, if you say so. <laughs> you don't believe me? You suck, you Eh, no, I do. Okay, let's just go! You know, <laughs> apparently they're just really excited, but uh, now we're gonna encounter something a little bit out of the ordinary a rocket. And I legitimately do not know what this next part is, but this doctor's like, oh, you're plot important. Let me tell you all this crud. Hi there! 
and she gives us the uh, XY file comic book, I guess, and oh my gosh, this is first edition. It's not, it's actually a fake, but you know, I have it anyways. I'll just pretend it is. Well, that's kind of dumb, but whatever. Uh, well, to be fair, uh, comic book collecting is my forte, and it's a big deal to me, okay. But no, seriously, if anyone can be a doll and like translate this next, no, not this next part, but this part, because for whatever reason, Google Translate is not very kind to it, but I guess there's like a magical door we can go through. I am so, so this looks really awesome. And I don't know what it pertains to in the game because the section we do immediately after this has nothing to do with it. And I should probably slow this down, people are trying to translate it, but I have no clue what this is about. If you're actually playing the game too, which apparently a large amount of you are, which is really, really awesome. I didn't know like getting a Japanese 3DS was that easy, but uh, well, I guess that's not too terribly complicated now that I think about it. But uh, no, the uh, door we're about to go through does not pertain to anything while we're doing it. Now we could technically go back and play as Nate, but I'm honestly having a bit of fun playing as Inaho, but no, we're about to to get into this next segment, ooh, and something tells me we're not supposed to be in here, Usapion. Why do we even open this door? I don't know, but let's check it out. It could be fun. Hopefully there's no samurai about to attack us. And yeah, you can now do that checklist for Inaho as well, which is pretty cool, but we need to find one specific character in this room, and guess who knows exactly where he is? <gasps> It's like right over here, and uh, yeah, this is a very interesting character in the yokai universe. Because his scepter kinda has poop on it! Uh, hello there, Mr. Akuma. Don't really know your name, but this is a legendary yokai of the Shady Tribe, and hello! How you, how you doing there? And oh, just put that back in your non-existent pocket. What can I help you with? You guys want some Jorivia? That sounds annoying. I think I'll pass. <laughs> Wait, why not? I love trivia. Okay, first question. Who out of the eight of us is not a legendary and in fact is just a normal yokai? It's definitely not me. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if we can actually get him in this game and okay, next trivia question. We don't got time for your trivia, man! Oh gosh, put the gun down, <laughs> Usafia. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh. I guess you were still stumped, and time's up! Uh, well, I can't think of any yokai that are simultaneously legendary and not legendary, so we give up. I just started this game. I don't really know what's happening. How dare you! You have not studied every last page of the medallion? <sighs> Kids these days. Yeah, listen, bro. We got, we got, a, we got a question. Can you help us out? We're trying to, we're trying to help the doctor, man. His dream is to build a rocket, and we need your help in a rocket. You say? Hmm, I can help you with that. Really? How? It's easy. All I need are some yokai friends. Why do I sound like Whisper? I need certain ones, especially, and I will give you th this magic rocket to get to space. Is no easy feat, but for a legendary, it's as simple as this. Really? We're just gonna build a rocket like that? I thought his dream was to get Salisbury steak for lunch. No, he wants this. Anyways, let's build this rocket. Okay, what do we gotta do? We need to track down five special parts. And with our powers combined, we can fly to space. It's really that easy. <laughs> Man, I don't know why, but Stick and Static King just looks... <laughs> I made this whole thing with my face in it. Anyways, so in the next video of Yokai Watch 3, we're gonna start working on this rocket, apparently to launch something into space. I'm not really sure if it's the rocket or we're gonna launch Usapion. Either one seems kind of a bit on the risky side, but to do so, we need to track down some Yokai. You know what? I'm gonna keep playing because the first Yokai piece that we need to get this rocket going is literally right outside. I'd be kind of stupid if I didn't go get him right now, so I'm gonna do that. Just because I can, and huh? I think he like kind of runs in a like counterclockwise motion, if I recall correctly. Yeah, he should be coming right for me, and huh, huh, huh? There he is! It's Blazion. What's up, dude? And Blazion, more like lazy. <laughs> I'll make you read those words. Oh. I kind of forgot he already fights. Yeah, so Blazion wants to battle. Um, good luck getting past all my yokai dudes. Because it's kind of three against one, and oh my god. It, I feel like we're just picking on him at this point. Seriously, look at this. This isn't even fair. 
So much for like a super intense battle. Holy crud. That was not really not really too proud of that one but for defeating him he will get added to our team and i'm actually pretty excited about that and yeah sorry about that battle it was kind of kind of one-sided was it did you really not notice you got you didn't even hit us one time yeah because i totally said that in that amount of kanji anyways blazion we need your help buddy and yeah so we want to go to space can you help us absolutely i can and well i just you kind of beat me up, so I have to, but yeah, I'll join you. And no, I guess they didn't get rid of the uh, Series 1 medals because he totally saw as a gray medal. And I don't remember if Jabanyan had one or not, but we're going to pick his English name because, well, let's be honest, after Wheel Guy, or Wheel Boy, whatever the crud I named him, my nicknames are not actually that fire. And you know what? That looks right. We're going to get Blazion added to our team. Yeah, Inaho literally is like the end of the yokai world because literally, oh my gosh, another Vegeta, yes! Every yokai we encounter instantly wants to join her team, it seems. And oh yeah! Take that, Nate! Wait, who's Nate? You know, what, what are you talking about? You crazy girl. Anyway, so now that we got him, let's actually put him in our front party because... I'm like a super big fan of Blazion. I wish he was like actually really, really strong and huh. Okay, so he's with the water. So we have a pretty balanced team right now. And actually I'm gonna use, hmm, I can't tell. Do I wanna use Gump or Mrs. T? Tough call. You know what? We'll swap them out in and out in between episodes. But that's all the time I have for today, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this episode. In the next part, we're gonna get the rest of the people that we need to assemble this rocket. Yeah, so see you guys in the next video. Bye. Where are you running, boy?